today we're going to bring a case for Leon Lee, uh, Lanco number two. All right, we're going to take a look at it and we decide to go with type C. So that's one thing that I, I tend to like because I like to plug in and charge my phone in the front. So if you guys can see it, we're going to open up and see what you get when you get something like this. All right, let's take a look at the front of it first of all. If you guys can see it, you can actually see through the whole thing. It's not that bad. It's all white in the front. And you see one, two, and three fans. And if we go pull up, you're going to see a couple of things. We got a C and an M and, a, and the reset button. And then you got the power button, a 3.5 jack. You got the um, two USBs and then a Type C, of course. Um, this is going to be more for the RGB lighting controls. Um, and then you can see that we have glass on the other end too. Um, and back where the cable goes, we're going to take a look at it. We're going to open it up too so you guys can see it. And it's a see through. And then the other side, it's also glass too. Um, real thick glass, real nice. I like that. And in order to open it, <laughs> I'm going to show you something. To open it, uh, there's these hinges here, but this is only to hold the actual thing. To open it, you're going to have to take out the bottom part. And the mesh, this part right here, is pretty good. Your power is going to go in here in one direction here. You have these three stocked for um, hard drives. You can put in there or SATA drives. Either way, if you have um, solid state drive or mechanical drives, they all fit in there. So I am going to put a, a 10 terabytes, a 3 terabytes, and a 4 terabytes that I have. So I'm going to include those in there. But let's see the spacing in here. Uh, these are not removable. If you guys can see, they're not removable. They're, they're joint in there. But you got plenty of room for any kind of motherboard that you're going to place in here. Especially us. We're going to go with the larger one. We're going to embed all the cables through here. Um, we're going to do cable manage through here. Um, you got all your connections up there. A lot of glass does not help with the actual airflow. So <laughs> that's another thing. It retains a lot of heat in here. That's what it does. So uh, I was trying to avoid that. But the same thing goes this way. There's a little grip, grip right here in this corner and this one right here. And you just pull it down. And you can see all the, the actual area that you're going to have. We're going to open it up too. Let's open this up. And it also opens up this way. It's like a wing pretty much. Now, you are going to have to replace. You're going to have to remove these. All right. We're going to do it by hand removing these. So we can see all the space that we're going to need and uh, that it comes with. All right. So that's one. And this is going to be a back of the motherboard. If you guys can see it. And there's another one here. That we're not going to remove right now and you could set up your actually um sata drives in two of these right here so you can mount some sata drives in here of course we're going to reopen this up because we want to see what's in here this is where all the cable management is going to be handled so let's go ahead and open your connections for our motherboard all included including the uh, type c all right this is what out the front if you can see it all the cables are real managed in there um they are going to do this kind of loop in here um really simple i like this whole thing that you're able to remove them, and not only that, you could replace these with any kind of um, um, your your liking, your prefer, your preference on fans. All right, this is underneath of it. There is a screen here that you can remove here to remove and clean the filter too. Also, I like the way it looks. It, it looks really nice and neat, well made. I like that it has plenty of airflow in here. That's one thing I need. The only thing of concern is like we're gonna have to take a look at it when it's completed, where. Um, how, how loud it is and I can retain the actual the system when it's actually completed so all right we're gonna get everything out of the box there was a box in here and one of the drives I didn't mention it, it was in here you open it up and it popped up and it was this box in here with all the screws and everything you require um, so just make sure that you pull that out prior to starting your whole setup and this is pretty much to give you zip ties all right, let's check it out, the light controls. So you have controls here, and I'm gonna hit the C button, all right? This is to change the color, all right? C is for color. Change different colors, red, whatever feeling you want. Pretty much does all the rainbow. I like the case, the case is really good. I just don't like the fact that you have to modify it off the bat. So we're gonna go back to white. lighter white memory um not memory but this is actually motions i guess it's like different changes so if you guys can see it's doing the rainbow i'm gonna hit the m again the start red only and it does some pulsing and does the wave effects it does all sorts of things but push of a button is very simple it's on the front 
All you have to do is do that. That's kind of distract. I don't like that one. All right, here's the inside of the machine. I just put a light in here so you guys can see. I'm gonna explain to you guys a little couple things that are happening here. So um, if you guys notice, right now I have a 9070 video card. It's my old card I have. Uh, plenty of space for everything else, but there's a big issue with this uh, Liam Lee Cool. It is that it will not take your RTX 3070s video card or 3080s RTX because they're really, really large, if you guys can see that. Now, there's a problem. There's a plate there. And in that plate, that's where the problem is. You're going to have to remove the plate. This adapter does not fit properly into the system at all. And it's a big issue uh, for me. Especially, I'm um, looking at the threads right now. People are having the same issue. If you're going to buy this machine, this case, you're going to have to modify things. And that's the junk, to be honest with you. Out of the box, it should be simple. This is the second machine I have to do this. Uh, Corsair had to do the same thing as the plate. In fact, I have the Corsair here. If you guys can see it, I removed the plate too because of the same issue. Uh, so we're having the same problem here. Uh, it's a small little thing. It's 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 you got to remove a couple rivets. Um, it's going to take some construction. Um, it's working. It's properly working, like I said, you know. Uh, other than that, I, I, I don't like the fact that, that you have to modify out of the box. So if you're going to buy this, cautious, be cautious about buying this. Uh, it's going to require you modification if you have a larger VGA card. I was trying to see another option. Maybe if I could mount the VGA card here. Um, it, unfortunately, they don't have a side panel. It would have been perfect if they would have put a side panel there for the VGA card. But unfortunately, they, they don't have that. I'm thinking about creating my own and modifying it, but it's just a lot of work. So I'm going to see my second options, what I can do. Uh, but other than that, I don't have anything else to add. If you guys are going to buy this, just be aware. I'm going to show you guys something I had to do, how to modify the actual case. All right, this is for the case. I had to remove this in order to get my... 2080 ti right now because i do have a 3080 ti but i wanted to test it out make sure it wasn't the video card or something else so i had to remove it you guys can see i'm gonna move this back it's a little messy but you can see how the cables i am gonna do the cable management a little bit more better um, but right now as you can see uh i had to remove that case and you're gonna run into the same issue if you have a 3080 or 2080 um uh, rtx or uh, it's longer you're not going to be able to run the card very simple very easy you're going to have to remove these uh i had to remove the rivets and then oh corsair i'm running at 40. it's it gets hot right now it, it, right here it's a uh, temperatures is keeping really good at 22 you know uh other than that i mean you had to remove this plate it's a pin in the ass they do sell a plate that goes sideways here that you put your video card in here but I didn't want to do that because I am going to put my streaming card down here and uh, other functions too. So that's the only reason I stepped away from that and they didn't want to do that. All right, on the other side, if you can see, I'm going to open it up so you guys can see. I have a mess, a cable, but nobody sees the cable but me. Uh, I like this part of the, of the case is that everything's covered up in here. Plenty of room for two more SATA drives if you want the smaller version. But if you can see, it's everything's really compressed in here. Uh, like I said, the only thing I had to remove, I had to modify the front a little, just a little bit. But other than that, I am very pleased with the whole system. It's a little loud. I'm not going to give you that. And if you stand, if you put your hand here on the front, uh, you're sitting there next to it, it's going to get cold because it is generating a lot of air through it. The airflow is perfect, especially um, if you're going to be gaming. And not just gaming, but if you're going to be doing video editing and other stuff on it, I highly recommend you guys to have a system like this to keep everything cool and make sure that it will last you for a long time. Because generating heat is uh, it's, it's your enemy here. So uh, I did end up putting a 1,000 watt power supply in here, if you guys notice. 
I was able to modify it. I kind of fit, squeezed every single cable I can. I covered it up. I ran the CPU cable all the way to the bottom, tie, zip tied in the corner. Uh, so you hardly ever see it as nothing existed. So everything's hidden. I haven't removed the, the actual pla plastics yet. I'm gonna do that today, later time. I wanna make sure I could enjoy a little bit better before. Um, but other than that, very pleased with the actual case. 